Thank you for tuning in today to Greg's Garage. Today I'm working on a ES, Lexus ES330. And we are working on a exhaust pipe. The flex pipe portion of the exhaust pipe is cracked. And this is the culprit of the issue. This flexible portion of the exhaust pipe is broken at the seam, uh, which is going to cause a loud noise from the exhaust. And one thing about this type of setup is the seam, which is around this perimeter, this is the braided portion of the pipe. It's made like this because when the engine moves, it allows for a cushion. If this wasn't braided or flexible, when a car would accelerate, it would create a vibration noise from the exhaust during acceleration. So this is the old pipe right here. Also, remember, one thing I tell uh, customers, if you have a known O2 sensor problem, it's best to let your mechanic know if the O2 sensors are not reading correctly, then go ahead and replace the O2 sensors because you have to take out the old O2 sensors and put them into the new exhaust pipe. As you can see, as you can see on this particular pipe. So um, this is the O2 sensor. Other other otherwise known as an oxygen sensor. So this comes out. We're going to take this old O2 sensor. We're going to put it into the uh, new exhaust pipe. This is the braided portion, looking all pretty. This is how it's supposed to look. No cracks, no leaks. O2 sensor. Goes into the hole, you thread it in, and you do the rest of the tightening when you get it onto the vehicle. This is the um, bike one sensor one O2 sensor, as with the other O2 sensor, which is bike two sensor one. Thread it into the pipe. Oh, let me get this down. Threads in like that. Also, I've been doing exhaust work. I've been doing it for a while now. You're going to run into some issues. Bolts on the exhaust tend to rust out. Sometimes they can't come out. You can heat them up. They might not come out. Sometimes you might have to drill them out. I also recommend using a variable speed drill. Have this on standby just in case you run into any issues with um, rusted out bolts. Sometimes you have to cut them off with a torch, or sometimes you can actually drill them out. But in this case, with the um, exhaust manifold bolts, we have to drill them out. I'll have a separate video with the um, installation of the uh, flex pipe. This, oh, forgot to mention, this is the catalytic converter. These pipes, they can run as much as $250, $300. A genuine Toyota pipe such as this one, $550 on the Toyota dealership. Why it has a catalytic converter, that's what, that's, that's what you're paying for. Also, the braided portion, this can get expensive too. But, uh, I'm going to have a separate video. Uh, Y'all tune into that and stay tuned. Thank you.